Welcome back to another edition of Flight Time for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Badger variant. The hook I have on the vise is a two extra long dry fly hook. It is a size 14. You can use a standard hook. I'm going to use 8 aught black thread. This is 70 denier. I'm going to put a base of thread down. We're going to go halfway and come back half of that amount. And this is going to be our wing placement. Now for our wing we're going to use duck quills. I have my, I have a right and a left. I have a right wing and a left wing. We're going to measure out the length going to touch the shank and stick the hook point through and that's going to be the size of our wing and we're going to take our other quill and do the same touch the shank poke the point through and there we have the size of our second wing we're going to put our wings back to back so that the natural curve will help to split. We're going to size them up and we want them to be about the length of the hook shank. I'm going to tie these in with the wings pointing back and you want that curve on the bottom. Make sure they're lined up properly. I'm going to take, pull that straight down so that the front pops up. Now we're going to take the tag ends and we're going to fold them back. Let me get a couple more securing wraps on there. There we go. Take those tag ends and fold them back. Fold them in back of the wing. And we can lift that wing a little bit now. Whoop. Got away on me. And yeah, we're going to tug them down. I'm going to secure going back. And you can see I got a couple that broke off there. I'm just going to trim them down. In the back section, I'm going to cut that at an angle. And this is help, going to help give us a tapered body. Go ahead and secure the rest of that. For the tail, I'm going to take Badger Hackle. And we're take them and just pull back on that and stand them up. Then we can take a section, take maybe about three quarters of an inch. You want to line up the tips and pull everything off at once. Now we want the tail to be about the length of the hook shank. That long one out of there. And we're going to tie that in. Gonna put a wrap underneath the tail. Now for the body, I have two strands of black floss. I like to wet them to keep them uh, in control. Go ahead and nip off that end to make it nice and crisp. And you can leave your tag the length of the body. And that's this will also help to keep a consistently tapered and flat at the same time body. Now for the rib, I have 
gray thread, and this is 70 denier, so I folded it in half. And we're going to go ahead and tie that in. And I left the tag ends, I tied in the tag ends instead of the loop end. With the loop end, we're going to use that to help us twist the thread into one strand. Bring that up to the wing. Now we can take the black floss, keep this rib out of the way there, there we go. And we're going to wrap the rib. I'm going to take that floss and I'm going to wrap in front of it. And I'm pushing my thread up with it. And this wrapping my floss body in front of the wing is just helping to keep the same diameter in front of the wing as in back of the wing. So I don't have to use so many thread wraps to get that diameter. So that way we don't have a step from the rear to the front when we go to wrap our hackle. remove that. Now I'm going to take my dubbing whirl or anything with a hook on it and I just hooked it onto one. I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm going to give this a spin and my dubbing whirl came off but that's okay. I have one strand at this time. Now we're going to wrap that rib And palmer that up. And I'm going to take that in front and tie that off. Now I'm going to tie in my badger hackle. I'm going to put that down right between the wings. I'm going to leave a little bit of the trimmed badger out on the rear section. We're going to pull that straight down. And that's help going to divide the wings for us. Get a few wraps right in front and then I'm going to put a few wraps right in back. And you want to tie that down pretty tight right in the back section. My one wings split so I'm going to marry that back together and we can move the thread to the front take my hackle pliers and get a nice grip on that hackle we're going to wrap the hackle and you notice the first wrap of that hackle the hackle didn't shoot out towards the back that's because I left a little bit of the trimmed area exposed And we're going to put some wraps on there, maybe two, maybe three of them in back of it. And then I'm going to move the hackle to the front of it, keep that wrap nice and tight up to the wing. And wrap the rest of the hackle. And that's pretty good. We're going to stop it at about one eye length from the eye of the hook and tie that in. Put a few wraps in back of it, on top of it, put a few wraps in front of it. Then you can break the hackle off or trim it off. I'm going to take a half hitch tool because the eye is a little bit crowded 
with hackle going forward. I'm going to give this a couple of double half hitches. Just push those hackles back and pull that half hitch. One, two. There we go, we got our eye clear. I'm gonna wrap the head. Take our whip finish tool. Give it about a three turn whip finish. And I caught one fiber in the whip finish. And there's one going forward. There we go. Cut off the excess. Put a little bit of head cement on there. I'm going to start on the bottom on this. And here we have a Badger variant. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.